One of the best tools available to understand how your website is being indexed by Google is Google Search Console's Page Indexing Report. To access this report, open your website in Google Search Console. In the sidebar, click on Pages, which is located under Index. On this page, you'll see a graph noting how many pages are indexed and how many pages are not indexed. This website has 258 pages not indexed and 121 indexed. If you scroll down, you can see why the pages aren't indexed. There are 16 distinct reasons Google could exclude a page from the index, but not all 16 reasons will be used across all websites. In the case of this website, the most common reason for a page not to be indexed is that Google has found an alternate page with a proper canonical tag. Pages not indexed with the reason alternate page with proper canonical tag typically do not require any action. These pages represent alternative URL patterns Google found but has chosen to ignore, instead respecting the canonical tag as stated on the website. If you click on any one of the reasons listed, you can see how this particular issue has trended over time, and scrolling down, which pages are affected by this issue. When you look at the affected pages, you need to ask if these pages are legitimately excluded or if Google has made a mistake excluding these pages from the index. Looking at this set of URLs excluded because of the alternate page with proper canonical tag reason, we can see that Google seems to be making the right call here. There are URLs missing trailing slashes or with parameters, and therefore not the canonical version of the URL. We don't want that page in the index. Going back to the main page indexing report, you can also see which pages have been indexed. Click on the button below the graph with the text View Data About Indexed Pages, and you can see a list of all the pages that have been indexed. Going back to the main page indexing report one last time, I want to show you one helpful trick you can use to get more out of this report, and that trick is that the page indexing report can be filtered. Click on the drop down. Filtering to all submitted pages will show how many pages from an XML sitemap are indexed or not indexed. Most of these should be indexed. Filtering to unsubmitted pages will show you which pages have been indexed that were not in the XML sitemap. Most of these should not be indexed. You can also filter this report to specific sitemaps to see how many pages have been indexed from that particular XML sitemap. If you have any questions or need help using this report to improve your website's SEO performance, you can email me at matthew at